Hello there, today we're in the garden and I'm not actually a natural gardener but I do it just to make things look neat and tidy. So if I can find anything to make my life easier, I'm going to give it a go. So during the research recently of how to plant these bare root laurels, when I say research I mean looking at a couple of YouTube videos, I came across a tool that in theory will make digging the holes an awful lot easier and it's called a garden auger and it's essentially a massive great big drill bit that you put into your cordless drill that helps you dig the holes. So today I'm going to be using this, seeing if it works and seeing if it's worth the money. My name's Stuart Matthews, this is Proper DIY and I think I'm going to enjoy this. Whoa! <laughs> So on the internet, these augers are referred to by a variety of different names, such as garden auger, garden planter, bulb auger, or even as I found on Amazon, post hole digger. Although I think you'd have to be installing an awfully small post for it to work. This one is 300 millimeters or one foot long and is 80 millimeters in diameter. It has a 25 mm or one inch shaft running down the center that essentially gives it its strength. It also has a 3 8 inch hex shank that will easily fit to most standard cordless drills. I purchased this from Amazon UK for £10.99 and the link is in the description below if you're interested to have a look. If you do have a look, you'll see that these augers come in all types of shapes and sizes and costs as well. The reason I chose this one was a combination of what I thought was a good price, the overall size and also what looked like a solid product that would hopefully last for more than one use. So I know exactly where the holes are going to go, They're, I've just marked it on a stick and it's 100mm from this line here. I'm actually going to put them in the grass which is a little bit unusual but let's not worry too much about that. So the first hole I want there and this is what I'm going to be planting. So I really want it about maybe 200mm deep and it's just a, a sort of 50mm, 70mm hole. So let's see if we can do this, 100mm that way. Let's see, here we go. Oh my god. Well, I must say, that was pretty easy actually. How cool is that? And that's it done. Maybe a little bit deeper. Let's see where we go. Excellent. That is very nice. That is just what I want. find in your garden. Here I am planting at 400 millimeter centers which should in time give me a nice thick hedge. The sloppy stuff I have the roots soaked in is called Root Grow by Empathy. 
This is a mycorrhizal fungi which mixes up into a wallpaper paste consistency and sticks to the roots, hopefully helping to encourage better root growth. I then backfilled each hole with a general compost and compacted them well to give each plant at least some short term stability until they take. So that's 100 small laurel bushes now installed. And I must say, without that auger, I think I would have went halfway through and given up. It's absolutely fantastic and actually makes life an awful lot easier. So on the good side, this takes out a lot of the effort of actually digging the hole. I mean, luckily, I only wanted a, a narrow hole like this anyway, so it's a perfect size. But if you want a bigger hole, all you have to do is move it about and it sort of tills the land, it breaks everything up and actually you can make whatever size hole you want out of this. So this was absolutely 10 out of 10 and took a lot of the effort out of what I was doing today. Secondly, this is only 11 pound off of Amazon. I mean, there's hundreds of different versions. I'll put the link in the description below, but there's lots of different versions of this. So for 11 quid, this absolutely saved my bacon today. On the bad side, if you've got stones or rocks in the ground, like I have, because this is a new house, so half my garden is full of rubble and building materials, as this is going around, it can actually catch and stop. And that means that suddenly, if you're not careful, you can end up breaking your wrist. And what I found was, rather than putting the drill on the drill setting, if I use the clutch, if it stopped too quick, the clutch just actually disengaged and I saved my wrist. But that's something you've got to really be careful of because that could be quite a nasty accident. And finally, the ugly. And I should have realised this before I started. Whatever you take into the garden, especially when you're digging holes like this, is going to get really quite muddy. So my poor old DeWalt drill now looks many years older than it did this morning and it's covered in mud and all the little gaps and all the little nooks and crannies are covered in mud. So I'm going to have to give this a decent clean. If I'd realised that to start with, I would have used one of my older drills. So secondly, and I didn't appreciate this before I started, but using the auger on a cordless drill for around about 100 holes means you burn through batteries really very rapidly. I got through about three of these today and luckily I had them on charge and ready to go because if I'd run out of battery, that would have been the end of my gardening. so impressed with this so glad i bought it as well so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please check out the other ones on my channel which are diy projects all around the house and the garden and if you're feeling really brave you know what i'm going to say please subscribe so from a fully planted laurel hedge i'll see you next time